Well, a very good morning here on Walton Street in Hull for the pull down and pull off 2023. We are back here again for a pull down pull off in absolutely freezing conditions. It was two degrees when we got here. It's probably not that much warmer, is it? It's not too bad. I'm joined with Martin. Hi guys, how are you doing? Martin, you've come with us. It's been a while since you've been here, isn't it? Yeah, about six years. Have you seen it as a pull down before? Yes, six oh. years ago. So you should be able to help me out because it was the first time I did it last year. Oh, we've got a lot of action going on. We need to be careful where we're walking, <laughs> aren't we, really? Yeah, yeah. Now, from what we gather, there's no match day today. So things are a little bit lazier this year. Uh, there's less going on, but we should be able to fulfill our um, vlog, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. It's not going to be a lot lazy. It's just going to be like... What I meant by lazy... More relaxed. Yeah, I meant like there'll be less going on because... Yes. Because there's no match, there's no restrictions. I, I don't think there's a match. I just checked for fixtures and I don't see any. So last year there was a restriction halfway through the day between one and four, maybe one and five, um, which means we either left before that time or after. But I believe there's no, we, we, I think we need to get out of the way. <laughs> um, I just don't think there's any restriction this time. So people are probably taking it a little bit slower today. And um, yeah, why not though? I would. It's well, lazy well, Sunday, isn't it? Well, not for us, is it? Four, no. four o'clock this morning since I got up. About the same for me. Four in the morning. Absolutely. Anyway, we're going to do what we did last year. Um, I did look back at the comments and it was well received. Um, I think 98% of you enjoyed the last years. So thank you for the comments. Obviously, do leave a comment after this vlog and let me know what you enjoyed, what you think we should do better. I don't do pull downs and pull offs or build ups. Um, and a lot of you want more of that and I'll try and do what I can but it's not as easy as you think but I do I did enjoy doing this last year I found it quite hard because it was out of my comfort zone but a lot of you enjoyed it so if, if let me know this year because it's going to be slightly different this year um, but I, I, I saw a lot of you enjoyed it so I'm hoping it's just as good as last year but if you are new to the channel or you've not even subscribed or didn't even know we existed then make sure you hit that subscribe button totally free to do and follow us also on our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, X. Twitter X. X, um, Threads, and TikTok as well. I can't believe how cold it is. It's, it is a bit chilly for the time, for yeah. the weather we've had. Yeah. But just, so, but just stick around and you'll see the entire... Yes, we're along. gonna walk around. We are gonna walk around the whole, whole of the current whole fair and white situation. We are currently walking down Walton Street. If you did come to Hull, you will have seen this is full of like uh, food stalls all the way down. Of course, it's still kind of like that but all closed, but you're going to see some things that you may not have realized before because some of the things you see are actually incredible, especially with the Richmond area, which we're coming up to. Um, so we'll show everyone that in a minute. But I have no idea. I don't have an itinerary, a plan. Certainly don't have a script. We're just going to wing it. <laughs> yeah, wing it. Wing it. I'm not scared to say that we wing these. I wing these. I winged it last year and I think I did all right, <laughs> even though I do say so myself. So like I say, let me know what you think. Now, we're coming up to a first segment that I really wanted to show you, Paul. It's the Richmond section. Now, if you came, here's a bit more action. Flash dance. The Tagada. Even though that's not flash dance the Tagada, because that's down south. That's down at the, down south at the minute, I think. Yes. But the uh, the truck's taking somewhere else. That's the arcade. interesting. The arcade. Why did I not remember seeing I the arcade? Know. Don't remember seeing the arcade. He's got his, it's his flash dance. Oh is it? Yeah, me. Ah. He's got oh, some seen that here. Yeah. Um yeah, so here. If you came, you will see a waltzer called Laser Blazer, if I remember rightly. Yeah, Richmond. that's it. And they had Miami Trip, Miami Trip, was it? Yes. Which was here. This is where it was sat. This amazes me every time I look at it. It's fenced off and there is a building there. The, the waltzer was here, right? And the Miami was there. In fact, the waltzer's here. I don't know where the Miami is. Miami are gone. They're not going far. I believe they're going somewhere near York. In between I think here and so. York. Yeah, yeah. So I believe. Uh, they're, um, I think it's near, not far from Ghoul. Um, in between here and maybe, oh, Driffield maybe. Um, there it is, Laser Blazer. There's the actual 
uh, centre of the waltzer. This waltzer whole... used to be owned by Harry Charlin called the Love Machine back in the day. Love Machine? Yes. Really? Yes. What a name for a waltzer. Um, so there it is, and that was in here. Oh, it's a bit further down. <laughs> Yeah, I can't believe... If you watch my vlog um, of Hull Fair, you, towards the end, there was a section called the Richmond Corner, which is what I call this. It's probably not even called that. And it shows the waltzer sat there, and you can see where part of the building actually goes inside the waltzer. Um, it was actually in the vlog. So um, if, you wanted to, if you're intrigued to know what I'm on about, afterwards, do check out the Hull Fair vlog from this year and go in the chapters Watch the vlog as well, by the way. Uh, go in the chapters and look for uh, the Richmond Corner. It's towards the end of the vlog and you'll know what I mean. In fact, if you want to see what it looks like then compared to now. Also, do check out the vlog as well. The vlog was really good, especially check oh, Theo thanks. on Booster Max. Yeah, Booster Max is still here as well, so we'll see that. Now, there's not a lot of activity going on, but we are going to walk around. This is one of the main areas. This here, here, this here, this area here and the area over there is where we see a lot of action of lorries coming out but we're not going to see a lot because there's a lot more still built up this year compared to last year as well as doing and what we'll do we'll do the walk round of uh, what is still here and kind of point out where rides have already gone because i walked around here last time and i was what i said in here is about how messy it was and like litter um, but it's not as bad this year. They seem to be all right on top of everything this year. Yeah, and someone said, I mentioned about the litter on Walton Street, um, literally the council clean up every night. Yeah, you Crazy. see the council doing the job now. No, they were last time. So well, you'll see what's still here. More or less everything's folded up and you'll, you may have never seen rides, fo rides folded up before. We're also going to point out something. Uh, we'll, go, when, we'll do it at crash test. You know, the, is it called packing, isn't it? Yes. Um, which we want to bring up because it's had a little bit of slating on social media, and we need to we need to put it to right and just explain a little bit because knowledge is power. But you'll see a lot of rides already packed up. You'll see and recognise rides that you've, your kids may have been on before, and you'd be like, "Wow, look how they fold." Um, and it might like some people might be a bit like, "Wow." That's crazy. Like Cyclone, the Twister, which is from Luna Park in Scarborough, or it's actually Crozes. Um, apparently this goes back to Scarborough, if I remember rightly, for the uh, October half term, before it heads to Loughborough. Um, oh, does, does it go, no, to it go to Loughborough? No, no. King Frog goes there with Exciter. Yes, yes. Um, so this does go back to Scarborough as far as I'm aware of. Um, yeah, we did do this. Theo was thinking about doing this and we didn't. Not too sure why. Uh, but there it is folded and that's the only lifting twist in the uk not the world because there is one in australia but i believe there's only two in the world and it's uh usually in scarborough jet force jet force is here this is one of the rides that we did whilst we were here Now, you'll see a folded up extreme shortly, or half folded. So this is Jet Force, we'll see Void after. It's half filled, uh, half folded already. Uh, but that's not, um, no, I'm started. Last year, they were gone. Uh, they were folded up and get ready to go last year. Uh, I even, because I did, um, I went to Worksop after here last year on my own. Uh, and I overtook them on the, it was either the A1 or the M18 as a, as a head to workshop, Worksop. There's a workshop there. But there's a lot of rides still gone, namely um, Air. It yeah, gone early last this, time. Yeah, it's completely gone. Yeah, Air, Dante's Air, which was located roughly around here somewhere. I think it might Just have been a after, little bit further yeah, over. Blazer. Yeah, blazer. it's not far from Booster Max. That's already left. That left early last year, and I uh, saw that leaving uh, as I was driving in last year. So I think it's left quite early again this year. Um, it's, <laughs> it's full of birds, isn't it? everywhere seagulls in blackpool crows, crows or blackbirds in yeah i'm not too oh. sure which one there. you'll see a lot of rides already folded uh there we have got uh yeti a ride that we also did uh from i think it's what uh it's not the midlands is it it's like it's norfolk way it's king's lynn oh is it from there yes right so that's theodore wyatt yeah we did do that uh there's uh 
Clark's is XL Waltzer, ready to go up north. That's from the northeast. Again, all folded up. That, would you believe, is all one ride. Mad, the engineering it? is fantastic, isn't it's it? Just, I'm just going to show you. So if you saw XL Waltzer, which is the Clark's one, you'll see how big it is. It's just a standard size fair trade Waltzer. This is all one unit. Look how it folds and packs. That's just incredible. And this is why a lot of showmen are going down that road because it's so much easier for them. They can pack up. That's, that was done before we got here. So they did that last night. Yes. So a couple of few hours to do that. We Quite a few about men. Three, four hours. Quite a few men, I believe. Yes. Obviously, they would have had a lot of moving heads. They wouldn't have took them down early, I don't think. But I reckon they were working quite late in the night there, or early this morning. I'm not too sure, but yeah, they've packed away already. But it's incredible to see that's what the cars... Um, uh, 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 well, that's not that's the platforms, isn't it? That's but the where cars, the track goes. Yeah. The cars I've not watched one build up. It would be great to see one build up, actually, just to sort of see it a bit more. Another great waltzer there. There's uh, Terry Affer's Hellblazer. A little bit of a fact that used to be called the Merseyside scene. That used to be I an art. I see a picture of that. I saw a picture of that not long ago. And he used to travel around Merseyside and Cheshire. But take note though, obviously the older generation waltzers are in a lot more loads. Obviously compare the fair trade that we've just seen. And, and there we are with it's an just older one. load. Yeah, yeah, mad, mad. I can see our shadows. Morning. <laughs> Just here would have been David Wallace's. Oh yeah, it was Galloper. Yes, his Galloper was there. Uh, there's his ice maze as well. There is still a food unit open. Uh, this is all for the workers and contractors. That's Taylor that here. Yes, it's tailor made for you to eat. Now this year we've seen action on all three wheels. Last year we didn't see any movement on one of the wheels. Last year. Um, but all three wheels are getting worked on this year. So we'll take you, that one's getting a lot of progression over there, which is the tallest one here. Uh, we'll take you over to that in a moment. Let's not forget the game stores as well. Packing away. If you watch the pull down last year, it's exactly the same weather. The weather is exactly the same as Sunny last year. Sunny and cold. Yeah. Few of the Taylor's rides as well. We did have XS. Their Twister is over there, and their uh, next-gen Fairtrade here is still fully built up. Left that till last because it's probably the easiest thing to pull down. Although I'd say that would be the easiest thing, but uh, they've got some e really easy rides to pull down. But this is what it looks like, semi-pulled down. We did rate this. We did this on the vlog. Um, and I mentioned about um, about the lights and stuff, but it, it was really, really good. Run a really strong waltzer for Hull Fair, so it's good to get a. I think it's the first of its type at Hull Fair. I think so for Hill with the especially with the paper. That's what I mean. Outside. So the latest generation, which is what a year and a bit old now. Yes. This sort of prototype, if that's what you want to call it for that sort of thing. Um, model model thank you um this is the first of its type on here so it's good to test it but i reckon next year if they do bring this back i reckon they've got they'll be playing the game next year they really I think so. do um but i mentioned about what go i'm not going to stand on it because i've got respect <laughs> but um I, I did ask the question about this particular ride about what gets stored in the middle and i was told it's all the uh, rails from the outside but the rails are on the outside, so I'm not too sure what actually gets stored. All the windows are inside, I think. Ah, right, okay. So I did ask that question and someone said, I think it was one of the lads that worked on this ride actually, said um, that the windows or something goes in the middle because those frames there that you see are actually part of the queue line because you enter here and you walk all the way around to the entrance there. And I absolutely love that because if it's, if it's busy, you get to stand and watch the ride like you would have done back in the days gone by. Uh, when you could stand around waltzers the old, the old and speedways absolutely so there we are there uh, there's the back of king loops unfortunately we didn't get to do that this year there was just under 
uh, Big Apple uh, posters. We did see a few Scottish showmen here. Horns were here uh, with their freak out, which is, uh, in fact, it's over there. There's the freak out. Um, with their um, dodgems here in the corner. So they'll be um, off to Scotland uh, later today. Seen horns quite a few times this year, I think. Southern from the opposite side, we've got Irv. Is it Irvin's or Irvine's? Irvin's. Irvin's. I said it wrong in the vlog, I think. <laughs> Irvin Super Trooper. Now, what was funny is I don't believe a Super Trooper has ever been at Hull Fair before, apart from the Paratrooper version. And this year, we were given two. Two, two of them. We had that one, and we had churches. So there's uh, there's this one. Uh, that'll be off down south, back to the London region. We actually did this in the London region earlier in the year at one of their fairs. I'm not even going to attempt to say Litter it. and Hernest. There we go. Thank you. Kent. <laughs> Super Bob. It's from our way. Is he from, is, is he from Manchester yes. area? Yes. Yeah, okay. Cool. Aberton. Aberton boy. Oh, yeah. Bungie. Taylors. Is that why it's got an Iceland flag on it? Yes, not the shop. Right. Sure. I saw it, I was on Booster Max and when me and Theo were sat at the top of there and we were looking in that direction what I did notice about the Iceland flag and I was trying to figure out what that was about now I know why, because they take that to Iceland They do, there we go I'm learning as we go as well I think it'll be a while until we see Theo on bungees at fairgrounds he has done a bungee last year although that was at um, in Blackpool South Pier Booster Max I get, you might get to see some action here. Morning, gentlemen. Morning. Morning. Now, Booster Max, watching this is quite mesmerising to see build and pull down because it goes up and down. It's um, it's quite. I did see um, this was here last year, wasn't it? Yes. I remember seeing it here last last year, and it wasn't. There was no action last year, so it looks like they're doing a bit of action. But it'd be great, wouldn't it? Be great if we could see it being led down. Yes. But we don't know when that's going to be. But I wouldn't be. F I, I don't think it's too far away because they are doing the platforms. So we'll keep an eye out for that. So I'd love to see that. Head over when it happens. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, this was Theo's very first. Well, <laughs> it's, it's actually his second booster. But Theo, at the age of eight, took on Booster Max literally last week. So make sure you do check that out. I was surprised myself, if I'm honest with you. I didn't realise it was still here. I didn't see it. Topspin. Topspin's still here. I, I must admit, the load for this is weird. Because if you look, the, the actual car, you can see the headrests at the back. It's tilted like you're facing up. So if you were sat on it now, you'd be like that. So that's how that's folded down. I wouldn't mind seeing that build up actually, if I'm honest with you. Um, well done to John Horseman and, and crew, should we say. I'm not Congratulations, too sure guys. How many people did it? I, I believe John did it, a few others did it. Rufus um, Rankin, yeah, I believe he had a bit of um, <laughs> a bit of a meltdown at the end. <laughs> Came off it, not too great. Um, he, they did 38. 38, I think. Well done. 38 spins on that. I did 28 and I was all right. There is a target, and I put hashtag to, I, I said this to John. Hashtag 50 is going to be the target. Apparently, the record's 107. 107. No, no thanks. No. no, no. Well, I'm, I'm hoping we'll see that. I don't know, but I'm, I've got my fingers crossed for DW Stadium. I don't know if it's going there. Do not quote me. But I'm hoping it goes to DW, which is in a week's time. In fact, that starts this coming week. By the time this vlog comes this out, Thursday. it'll be this week. Yeah, we'll be there as well. So I'm hoping it goes. I don't know if it is. We'll see. I hope I see it before the year's out. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Here's Wesley's other ride. The Extreme Joker. We did this last year, didn't do it this year. That's almost pulled down. Another interesting concept of how they pulled down um, Super Bobs. Matterhorn. Have I just called it a Super, super Bob? Super Bob, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Um, is how they hold the cars at the top. I did. I have seen them build up Polar Express uh, in Thornton earlier in the year, and I saw because you can't see them because the, the top flash is totally different on this. Um, but you, you, you can see the cars hanging up there. It's quite interesting. So then that top will now just constant. I can't say the word. Constantina. Constantina. Thank you. <laughs> um, into its um, middle section, and then that's it. It's done. Again, almost a single load. Not quite. Obviously, a bit like the flying bobbin. South Pier. 
yeah. same design. Yeah, yeah. Stop like on central pier. Sorry. Yeah, well, we're just with we're, we're that tired. We're just getting everything wrong. <laughs> uh, what do we have here? Cowie's tagging her. So it is. <laughs> Do you know it's so weird seeing everything in the day and, and seeing everything located um, where it is now. Yeah, I do remember this being here now. Uh, Theo did this um, at the age of six. Um, his first ever tagada, but um, I think he found it a little bit over the top for him. But he did do it again this year. Um, very, very crazy ride. Good ride as well. Very good. Hey, we see this. This will be off to Harrogate, won't it? Yeah, that'll probably be off to Harrogate, Bronson Cummins. I don't think he'll be going anywhere in between. He might go home first, but that'll be off to um, Harrogate uh, very soon. Right, Morning. Uh, along with uh, a few of his other rides. Um, just so you know, Harrogate in foot. Oh, God's sake. Indoor Harrogate Funfair. Indoor Funfair is, um, has got a Trabant this year. A Trabant. I, I look forward to seeing that. I just want to point this out. Look how clean this is. This is a very clean vehicle. Very clean. Look how shiny it is. Very shiny, very clean, very well looked after. I think he's just cleaned it. That might be why. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is um, oh, John Noyce. Noyce. Ah, so they're from um, the south as well, aren't they? They're, well, the, John is from the south and his wife is from Stoke-on-Trent. Oh, right, okay. Related to Darren Matthews. Oh. It's just everyone links to everyone, don't they? <laughs> Madness. I did see this. We didn't. I don't think I've done this before. Um, it was the. Um, they call North Pole. North Pole. Yeah. There's the signage. I couldn't work out. It's got an E, but you know, that's the pole, isn't it? A few more fun houses here. We we didn't do it this year, um, but there is out of limits how again weird how it's just packed into that uh, there's limbo dancer also a scottish ride that's wheatley's oh well oh, they're together aren't they both together yeah so they'll be going home together soon we want speed buzz back speed buzz come back to home please love speed buzz uh chadwick's yeah it says it this there. is uh, gilbert chadwick senior the guy who owns this you to own that is the oldest serving tenant at Goose Fair, at Hull Fair, sorry. Get it right, get it right. Hull Fair. <laughs> the oldest servant tenant at Hull Fair. So he used to own that, didn't he? His son used to own that. Yes, but he doesn't anymore. Because no. I got corrected last year when I was at Hoppins and I said it was Chadwick's and I got told it's not anymore. And I was like, oh, right. Um, this is one of the reasons, one of the reasons why Theo won't do ghost trains. This is one of the best ghost trains on the circuit. Exactly, which is why Theo doesn't yes. like it. Um, he did, I think it was here two years ago when he did it, and there was this really long finger over the front and it yeah. really creeped him out. So I think that might be the reason. <laughs> Done this a few times. Is this right? Is this from Scotland? Because no, it goes, no. Manchester, Gilbert Chadwick. Joking, really? No, yeah. Goes to Scotland a lot? Yes. Goes they do a lot of traveling, don't they? Goes to the Hoppins as well? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen it quite a few times. Um, Liverpool Indoor from Fair, not too long ago. There's um, Pat Michael Collins. Harris's oh, Harris's. Dodger. Yeah, Dodger, yeah. Uh, there's a pay box for Infinity. It looks like Infinity's pay box. You know, the uh, swinging freak. Um, yes. Involving group freak out. borrowed by. Stuart Robinson for the waltzer. Uh, all the waltzers had pay boxes, cash boxes this year. And do you know what? I praise you for that. I just think the operation's so much better for you. I, I do. Speaking of Robinsons, Tagada, if I can get that right. Reese Robinson's Tagada. A Tagada that Theo is not tall enough for, and I don't think they'll let him on it just yet because it's um, a bit of a crazy one. And this, ta this Tagada used to be in Blackpool Pleasure Beach as well. I always forget that. I've done it loads of times. Yeah. It was um, called Circus, Circus Tagada, if I remember right. I think or, so. Or something like that. It was um, red and white um, with a, it wasn't a backflash, but it was in, housed inside uh, with a big opening front. And it used to have like... Um, a table in the Well, no, that was Trauma Towers. But before Trauma Towers, 
it was inside an enclosed area and it had like um, an, an audience painted around the edge as if it was a circus and that yeah. was the ring or, or the, the, the ring yeah I remember that um, oh if that's too big that's the Miami then the Miami's there isn't it Uh, we'll see this soon. This will be off to Trafford Centre. We went to uh, Spookfest after here last year and it wasn't there obviously, so we missed that. Um, crash test, we saw this at the Trafford Centre for the summer, for the summer days. Am I right in thinking they've done the cars? The cars look clean, don't they? They look well different. Yeah. I might be wrong, I don't know. I feel like the cars are different a bit. No, no, maybe not. It might just be me. I don't see it very often, so I could be why, but um, yeah. First time Theo did this, uh, it was a pleasure on Southport. Was it? Yeah, no, yeah, I can't remember. Well, well it has yeah. been to pleasure on Southport, yeah. and if he's not changed it, he may have changed the height. You could you used to ride this at 0 0.9, but it's not a very spinny coaster. Oh, we've missed Void. We can't miss Void. Oh. Can't forget Void. We can't. So, as I mentioned before, we saw an extreme. Morning. We saw an extreme that was built up, and then we've seen an extreme that is half folded. This is Void. So, just to give you an idea how this folds now. So, if you imagine seeing um, it fully built, it's now folded into half. And then all that happens now is all the frame will just come up and then it'll fold. That centre bit, that section here, will just lift up. That section will lift up, folds in. The void top flash then just drops down. That then slides across, slides across into the middle. That folds up and away you go. And then all we got to do is just lift up the front. Uh, and for the... the yeah, and then away they go. Off you go. I just think it's just so crazy. It's so how, clever, isn't it? How they make these rides. Madness, but that's that's void. Uh, Music Express. I didn't realise how close the train line was to it. Just the back. <laughs> uh, Music Ex uh, sorry, Midnight Express. Uh, the um, another Matterhorn. Seen that a few times this year. Um, oh, 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 Vertigo. Yes. Yeah, Vertigo Booster. I think it's one point, if I remember, this is 1.4 and I mentioned yes. in the vlog that it's a bit weird how this is 1.4 and Booster Max is 1.3. It might be to do with the restraints. Do you think? Different style of restraints. Oh, we might see some action on this. We saw some action last year. We were stood here watching the ring come down last year. But obviously, that's going to be a little while because they've still got other things to pull down yet, yes. such as the top flash. Uh, but this is Atmosphere Crater. And I'll tell you something, it looks totally different well, looks totally different in the day for a start, but without the ring, it looks totally different as well. So, uh, hopefully we'll show you some footage of that a little bit later. Shores is Dodgems. I'd imagine Farrah Shore will be around somewhere as well. Um, we did have a Sizzler twist. It's already built, uh, folded up. So I'll show you that in a moment. So here's the wheel. All the gondolas are off the wheel already and they're like folded in aren't they? They just slide in. So they're twice the size of that and they just slide up. Hi Martin. Hi James. How are you? I'm alright. So that's working on. Oh they're on the last one. Shall we watch them do the last one? Yeah yeah. Let's watch the last one. We're not going to get too close. Everyone's wearing hard hats and we're not. <laughs> so we don't want to get too close. Uh, but just whilst we watch this because they're going to lift one up you'll see bit of double action going you'll see one getting lift up and onto here and the other one will get folded uh, so we'll try and catch both of them uh, but just whilst I'm mentioning then there's Evans's uh, Sizzler twist as well and it looks like um, Denzel's um, KMG speed's gone already and so has the Chaos ride uh, which was behind here they've already gone by the looks of it unless it's hiding yeah they weren't the first weekend Oh, were they yeah, not here the second week? The ah, okay. 
I'll try and keep both in focus so you can see the action going on over there at the same time. This looks really straightforward, doesn't it? it well, I say that, but <laughs> not too sure if it had been the same actually standing up there. So the biggest wheel of Hull Fair is getting dissembled right now and you've seen it right in front of us. Done. And then we've only got one more to do. But how many loads do you reckon this is? About four? More? Oh, there's, there's, two, the there's literally two loads for the gondolas, isn't there? I'd, actually, I might. No, well, this all folds into one, doesn't it? So I'm, I'm going to stick with four. I might be wrong. It might be six. James, how many loads is the wheel? Uh, nine or ten. Depends how well oh, I was way out. <laughs> I said four. <laughs> Maybe four for the little ones. Now I'm wondering if my finger's that cold, I can't unlock my screen on my GoPro. I'm just seeing if I can zoom in for you. But my, um, it's not letting me do anything because my hand's absolutely freezing cold. There you go, look at that, it's just sliding in. I would have zoomed in, but it's not letting me zoom in because my hands are really cold. So it's not catching on the uh, display. But as you just saw then, it just slid in to itself. And then it'll just wheel it over. That'll just get taken up there and it will just go on to there. Job's done. Job's Mad, are good, isn't it? it? That's how they do gondolas anyway. But then with the wheels, They'll take frame by frame, so they'll start with there, take that apart, and then it'll just work its way round until the whole uh, frame has been taken down. I think this might be the height of the new wheel, but central here. Do you reckon? I think so. It's probably going to be that. <laughs> so the wheel, um, obviously, it would it would actually work because the current wheel is actually very similar to how the, um, the the legs are. Uh, Dan Sapo, another ride that I will think, don't quote me on this, uh, is off to the traffic centre. It usually is. It should be. It was last year. Um, so at the moment, uh, there'll be a couple of rides missing from uh, from there at the moment. Uh, atmosphere is over here. And there's the lorry on its way. It'll be nice to see that get coupled up if we, uh, if, if they're nearly done. If I remember rightly, oh, Accelerate's still here. Yeah, the booster's still here. Booster's still here. Um, it'll be good to see that happen, actually. Um, another ride Theo took on at Goose Fair. Uh, this is like a, it's like got three trailers, this thing. So it's the main trailer, cash box, and then caravan last year. Yes. Uh, there's the caravan, but that might be getting towed by that this year, but yeah. Um, we might not get to see it coupled up because it's in a bit of an obscure angle with uh, Polo Express there. It might do. No, he's, he's gone. He's given up. I think he might have tried. I just think it's too far over because he needs to get central. So too he's not able. The, yeah. Uh, and there's Polo Express. Uh, as I mentioned about the other Matterhorn, uh, you can't see where the cars are stored, but they are stored all up there. There's Mr. Reed now. Yeah. Oh, he's coming round. Shall we see what he does? I'll tell you what, he must be sick of vloggers. <laughs> oh, not another vlogger. Um, oh, just, just be because... careful of the back. It's nuclear. Nuclear reactor. I'm hoping he doesn't run over that. <laughs> a little help from Baron as well. Get by with a little help from your friends. I know. 
We may get to see this cu get coupled up then. Possibly. Or oh, we might be in the way here. One sec. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna uh, try, any. Yes. Let's see, uh, oh no, no he's not. He stopped. That's it. <laughs> That's as far as he's going. He's, he's like, now wait for that vlogger to go away. <laughs> <laughs> um, should we head over head there? Towards the middle, maybe? Yeah. Well, we haven't been over here, have we? This is, is this what they call Scotch Corner? No. Oh, where's that? This is Scotch Corner's where we've just been, where Horn Stadium is. Oh, that's Scotch oh Corner. right, so it's called Scotch Corner because it's full Scottish. Scottish yeah. Oh man, all right, okay. Well, no, because Irvins are there. Yes. No, no, they're not Scottish. <laughs> Unless they it's are. It's not Scotch Corner. <laughs> so what's this called? This is the Walton Club. Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Yeah. So this is part of Hall Fair, isn't it? Because no. there is, no, okay. There are sections that are not actually part of Hall Fair. And it's this technically is, part well, of Hall Fair, but it's... Um, its own right. It's, it's its own fairground in its own right. Um. We have a fun house that is famous for Megan, aka it's Skegness Vintage Fun Fair. I saw that. I was watching it. Sorry, Megan, but I did laugh. <laughs> it who, was who, funny. Who, who wouldn't laugh at that? I wasn't too sure what to do at first when she went down. I wasn't. I wasn't. I was like, "Oh, are you okay?" And she was fine. And then I was like, "Ha ha." Um, but yeah, uh, we've got. The Super Trooper. Now that's Super fully Trooper. down. That wasn't fully down before. No. Now it is. It looks like it's just getting its. Oh, we didn't show everyone the. Um... We need to go back to crash test. Yes. And do that in a moment. Hey, there's Darren. Um, yeah, they're just um, getting uh, ready to go back to uh, West Yorkshire. Harrogate. Oh, in fact. They should be going to Harrogate. Harrogate Indoor. I don't know. I didn't know if it was on the list. I don't think the Super Trooper is. But I think no, it's too twisty. Too, will be. Yeah, that won't be going to Harrogate. It's too tall. There's a, there's um there's not enough height for that. Um, but. Hi, right, Henry. This was it. This I mentioned. Where did I mention about the building of these? And I said it'd be great to see how. I reckon it takes a while to build. And someone said to me it takes a couple of hours. I think it was at. It will it be that Skegness? Well, it'll be this actual one then. Yes. Because this is the one that we did. And I said, yeah, it was inside. And I said, it'll be interesting to see how they build these. And they're doing it right now. So, yeah, that's the actual one that goes to Skegness. And this Helter Skelter has been at the pier heading in Liverpool as well. Has it? Yes. Okay. Um, and then we have... A little, a little thing to show you here. Um, William Roberts is tagged there, all ready to go, coupled up already. And that's there. We 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 saw uh, William in Hindley. He Not went. Too he, long. He, he did. He, days ago. Yeah, he was in Hindley on the Sunday because we filmed it on the Sunday, and he was there, um, in, in a bit of support, I think. And then we've got the ghost train. It's like it's um, ready. That's not Whitens, is it? I think so, yeah. Hmm? No? It was at Goose Fair, this. Oh, so this swapped out? Yes. Oh, right, I didn't know that. Gareth uh, Smith was here. Ah, uh, right. So that was a floater as well. Yes. I, didn't do, I didn't think they do floaters over Gareth here. Smith is here for the two days. Pulls down on the sun, pulls down Saturday night. And this pulls through on the Sunday night after Goose Fair. Question for you. Yes. Why is it so low to the ground? That is very low. Very low. That's got to lift up higher somehow. There's no way that's the height. Because if it goes over a speed hump... Look, I'm just going to show you whilst it's not moving. Look how low it is. <laughs> There's no way no, that's right. It it's got to it lift, lift up, up. hasn't it? Yes. It's got to lift up. I wanted to see it reverse and see what happens, but um, I don't think we're going to see that yet. No, right. I don't think so. We're going to head back over to... Um, crash test and we're just going to explain a little bit of something about packing and we've brought you back over here to crash test 
to kind of clear something up because you may see on rides this now this is completely common it's normal and fully safe and we're going to explain to you why aren't we yes because we are. because every single ride here on hull fair has this and this is what they call packing now you might think whoa it's held up by well people have said bricks there's no bricks there it's no actually bricks. packing wood, it's wood packing. now if you just look at this this is so solid if i booted that as hard as possible that would not move however this is so common and so safe it, 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 it's it, the reason behind it is because if you look on here and you'll notice the slabs are of different height that's because this ground for example has no consistency whatsoever if we didn't have any of this around then the ride itself would not be stable and actually would probably shake a lot more and then people would be more concerned so the reason why we have these is to keep the ride stable the other side will be a lot more shallower but this is why they're here and it's to keep the um yeah the ride completely stable yeah that's right if you look at the uh, construction trade cranes use this system as well it's not just uh, common on fairgrounds it's common throughout the entire construction trade as well yeah yeah absolutely so obviously i think it was um there was a tiktok that went viral yes it was at nottingham goose fair yeah and we just wanted to point out that it is it is something you see at fairgrounds this has been going on for centuries way before people who made that tiktok probably were around and we just wanted to say that this is completely normal and it is fully fully safe isn't that it right? wouldn't pass a test if it wasn't no so if you go correct. to a fairground you see this that is better than seeing the ride on the ground it is 100 percent yeah so there we go completely safe see what action's going on in the center bit that we've not really walked around properly yet, have we no not really tell you what that's come down well quick the runaway train little thunder mountain isn't it yes we've seen this this, this well no i was gonna say that could be going to trafford center but i doubt it i doubt it no there can't be that many rides going there but this was at trafford center earlier in the year we've seen it in a few places actually probably saw it in cardiff um yes yes we did we did you're yes. right um yeah we didn't vlog there but this is this is also i think it's all on one isn't it i um, think so yeah just mad how it fits all on there Baron madness yeah that can be a water feature yeah i don't think it was doing that here though there's uh stuart robinson's dodge set aka the smoothest dodgems we just said just said it was that stuart himself yes literally said to him it's the smoothest he said it's 23, 23 years 23 years old. how is it smooth for 23 years well looked after very it's well looked after i must say though these other vehicles are very smart so that's quite uh that looks quite new but i love his uh reg plate it spells out the word dodging <laughs> it's quite good that they're putting their little mini miami on the back as well yeah There's uh, Jonathan Walker's ghost train. That'll be uh, on its way out soon as well. Right in the centre here, aren't we? I didn't notice this sea storm was still here. Is that that might have gone? You know, I, I don't. I don't remember seeing the blue and white over here. We might see it. It's not far from this Helter Skelter. Not everything's getting taken down right now. The Helter Skelter's still there. Oh, the sea storm's still here. Oh, it is still here? Yeah. Oh, we'll go over there in a moment. Was the, uh, they're starting to take down the uh, fusion. Let's see what action we've got here. The next thing I would imagine now is to split the towers. Yeah. Oh, they're doing it now. He's at the top doing it. And then it's self done with its um, with the arms, isn't it? Yeah, it falls down on top of each other. Be interesting to see that way.
hopefully we'll see uh, see that fall down a little bit later there's this fun house as well already folded oh sea storm yeah sea storm should we go over to it yeah we'll head over to sea storm Is there anyone that you don't know? <laughs> Not really. Well, there is a few people here, but I've seen a few people that I know have bought the faces, but I can't remember the names at the moment. Everyone just becomes like, all right, mate. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, so still here. Again, is that... I'm not familiar with this one. Obviously, I'm familiar with the ride, but as a fold down, I've never really seen it. One load? Two loads. Is it two? Oh, is that it? Because I was going to say where the boats, the boats are... There's no way they store the boat. Yeah, I was going to say, there's no way the boats are on there. Two loads, okay. Interesting. Ole. <laughs> Ole, yes. Not too sure where that'll be going next. pretty much gone full circle now haven't we so when this is empty this is a car park yeah and also um, a car boot sale as well on a Sunday oh is it really yes right now we've taken you for a little walk around let's see what action we can show you
Hey Martin. Whoa. Look what 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 look look I can't speak. <laughs> look what made it, but didn't make it out. It was meant to debut it, wasn't it? Yes. This is a uh, the Joker. The Joker, which is uh, Taylor's, their uh, confolding group. Extreme, the latest in the UK. So it was meant to debut here, and I did post saying it was going to be debuting here, but it didn't actually make it up. So it's going to be debuting at Maryport, isn't Maryport. it? So that's in Cumbria. So that's actually near us, but uh, yeah, it didn't actually make it out, but I, I like this. I know it's upside down, obviously. What's it say? Not clown, joker. Ah, yes. And on the other side. Can't quite see the uh, top sign, but yeah.
well plenty of activity going on but this goes on all day and it goes into tomorrow as well there's actually a few rides that have not been touched yet uh, like uh, crash test and jet force um, just to name a few uh, the waltzer uh, Taylor's is, hasn't been done but then again we, we counted Taylor's have got six rides on there it's unbelievable online. isn't it yeah so they're working tireless, tirelessly to get going there's a few of their rides were folded up before we got here so they're working flat out and they've got a catering stall on there as well so they've got a lot going on but as you can see three of the wheels are still there although that one's nearly done this was the first one to be started if I remember rightly yes and it seems to be the last <laughs> to be done that one's nearly done and that's getting it quite progressive as well but uh yeah there's still a lot going you could you could spend hours here couldn't you but oh you could spend at least two or two days you here need to have the this. mindset though because it's quite slow everything's slow moving but um you, you've got to have that mindset to be able to tolerate that if that makes sense yes um just to watch everything going on and that's why i don't bring theo i think theo would really enjoy it if it was very fast paced and everything was happening at once but because he, he, he we he um megan phoned me on video call and i showed theo um the booster max folded and he was like really like amazed by it he was like how have they done that i said well it, it's hard to show you when you when you're not here but as you see through the day today, there's just going to be loads leaving. As you can see, Vertigo Booster is, is next to leave now. Um, and um, yeah, the M62 will be full of lorries leaving with trailers. But some of these, these loads are like, I think they might have added a clip of atmosphere. Some of the loads you see leave here is incredible. Last year when I came though, this, this Walton Street was literally chocker because there's no curfew, yes. uh, but there's no curfew this year. And it's, it's um, got a lot warmer as you can see, I'm now in my hoodie, nothing to do with being shot on or anything. Oh, he, um, they, he had some good luck from the sky above. Yeah, called the seagull. Yes. Yeah, I got shot on. <laughs> <laughs> Family channel. Is, is, I don't know if that's, is that bad language? Shat. Yeah. Is yeah. it real? Yes. Oh, okay. It's not as bad as what other people say. I know, but he got he Poodum. got defecated on. Who done? A lot of the rides have left again this year. Like air had already left by the time we got here, so some of them just work through the night to get to get out of here. Some of them are being chill about it, should we say? Uh, but as we can see, like a lot of movements happened here. In fact, Walton Street is quite clear. It's usually full of units still, but. Uh, well, have you, have, you, have you enjoyed this? Yeah, we've it's been, been here really since, good. Been here since 8 o'clock. And what time is it now? Just after 1. So we've been here quite a few hours. Yeah. Really got into the number of things. Oh, and obviously we would have put that on as well. Joker, um, the the new... Confolding, confolding group, group. Outward facing freak out. That's the word. It was here. It was hidden around the back. So it was supposed to debut here, but it didn't. I think there was not enough space for it because of the swing. Um, so they couldn't actually do it, and none of the other rides could move. So plus, I think with Taylor's having quite a lot of stuff here, would have been quite. Would have been quite a bit of. I thought they were swapping. Staff. I thought they were swapping a ride out. I thought I was. I was made aware that the Miami was getting swapped out. Um, but when I saw the Miami there, I was thinking, ah, it's not there. So I'm not too sure um what the idea is but that is heading up to cumbria uh, and it'll be debuting up there so it'll be out and about soon but it does look really good I'm not too sure good i didn't really think pink was their color well it is now it certainly is <laughs> well hopefully you as much as martin have enjoyed this vlog and like i say please uh let me know in the comments um how it was the action was um, a little bit different this year so i'm hoping i caught as much as possible like i say it's very slow moving and everything's going off at the same time i wanted to get uh, booster max folding uh, but i missed that but i did see it happening whilst i was at the other end of the ground uh, then things were starting to leave other places so everything happens at the same time and then there's like a lull so capturing everything is quite hard i'm doing a pull down you might really think it's actually easy it's actually not it's not it's, it, it's time and it's patience time and patience as yeah. you said so we've, we've done it so yeah hope you've enjoyed it leave a comment leave a like 
and uh, subscribe if you're new, follow us on Facebook, of course. We'll have posted photos of here as well, of what we've seen with the action of that too. And make sure stick you, around. Make stick sure, around. make sure you do check out the whole fair vlog. It is in the description below, uh, which um, sees Theo take on that Booster Max. Big ride for him, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a, it was a pleasure to see watching at home after my breakfast one morning. And do you know what? There's still a question to be answered, and um, you don't have to answer this now. But which is your favourite? Hull or Geese? Leave a comment in the comments well, section below. You. Oh, which is my favourite? Yeah. Oh, that's got to be Nottingham. Really? Yeah. Of course it is. It's I just, it's we, a no brainer. We made a post, and I'm not, I'm not lying about this because anyone can ask me. We shared a post on Facebook um, last week, and because I'd completed Hull and Goose, I took my take on it. That Facebook post, no word of a lie, has reached half a million people. And it's featured on Nottingham Live's um, social media. And website as well. Yeah, so <laughs> there is a, a question still to be answered. Well, the, the, the question is, based on that, is which is bigger as well? Because there was a lot of arguing going on saying whose is the biggest. Fair. I think for the amount of attractions, it's got to be Nottingham and for the amount of attractions that fit in the space it's got to be nottingham it's a tough call it's a tough call anyway you can check that on facebook right we're gonna go i don't have an outro by the way because i've, I've got no slow-mo to do oh, unless we want martin dancing in slow-mo no thanks okay we'll see you again soon we will see you next year Hulk. take care